Hey everybody, welcome back to Follow Me, I'm a Foodie. Today we are gonna be doing something very exciting. We are trying five different kinds of instant noodles from India. There's tons of different flavors. They all look really, really good. I'm so excited to get started. So the first one we're trying is also the most requested. It is straight up traditional Maggie. This has a huge following in India, so we cannot wait to try it. We're gonna eat it exactly like it comes out of the bag. No chicken, no extra spices, just Maggie goodness. It's our first time, let's go try it. We started by adding one and a half cups of water to a pot. Then we broke our Maggie into four pieces and it really looks good. Next, we added our tastemaker pouch, gave it a little stir as it boiled for three minutes, and now we get our first taste of Maggie. It's time to eat, and it looks so good. Look at that, still steaming away. It looks amazing. One thing I'm super excited about is there was quite a bit of broth when we started. It seems like these noodles have sucked it up, so I think they're gonna be really nice and juicy. Let's eat. It smells so good. When we were cooking, I wanted to use that little spice packet. Cheers. Just to have extra. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. It's like creamy. It is. It has almost a butteriness mm -hmm. to it without having any butter, which is crazy. Right. What do you think of the spice? So I thought it was going to be spicier, a lot spicier, but you know what? I, you can kind of taste a little bit on the back of your throat. Mm-hmm. It's similar. I know it's not cayenne, but it mm -hmm. kind of has that back of the throat cayenne feeling. Little sneaky kick back mm -hmm. there. It, I thought it was going to be a lot more like ramen. Like that's what it looks like. And it's it's not as much as ramen as I thought it was. I actually like this better than ramen. Mm-hmm. It's a lot better. The noodles are plumper mm -hmm. first of all and uh we cooked a little bit longer than two minutes but they are really nice and soft and then that broth is less watery yeah and more creamy and it really coats those super nice the next time we go to an indian grocery store we're probably gonna buy a ton of this because we eat a lot of instant noodles because they're just That's so true. easy they're so cheap and these i mean we have four more to go so I don't know what the rest of the day is going to hold, but these are the best instant rom or instant noodles I've ever had, like, for sure. Absolutely. This is a winner for sure. I understand why it's so popular in India, because it's amazing. Yeah, it's really good. The next one we're trying is still Maggi, but it looks completely different. This one is masala panne, and it's got peas in it. The noodles are different. And so I'm curious to know, is this very common in India also? Or is the Maggie over there really the other one? Let us know in the comments because we're curious. We had no idea that there were so many different options. Either way, I'm excited to try this one. Let's get to cooking. For this one, we started with two cups of water. Then we added the noodles. Then came the taste maker pouch. And then we stirred until it came to a really nice boil. At this point, we realized we had too much water and it wasn't evaporating quick enough, so we used a bigger pan and it simmered down perfectly. And now it is time to eat. Our second Maggie is the Masala Penne. This one looks really good. We had a little hiccup cooking it though. We started <laughs> cooking it in a pot and then kind of midway through transferred it to a pan. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those things I'm looking at. It's like it is so watery. It's got to need a bigger pan so that we can get this water evaporated. But it looks really good. It looks like it turned it out great. Good. We will find out for sure. Cheers. All right, cheers. Mmm. Uh -oh. That's really good. <laughs> <clears throat> Happens every time. Every time. Yep. Mm. Dang, that's really good. Okay, so the peas are nice and plump. I thought they would be kind of mushy and right. gross because it, it's in a packet. But it also is a little bit spicier than the last it one. It is. It's a, Actually, I think it's quite a bit spicier than the last really? one. The pasta here is really soft and tender. Super gentle pasta. <laughs> yeah. Again, though, the thing that I'm <clears throat> loving is that it the sauce just sucks into it. Mm -hmm. And so when you take that bite, it just has so much flavor. Yeah. That's one thing I've realized so much with these is they are packed full full of flavor mm. normally like i know the last one we mentioned that it was similar to ramen we had tons of extra spices to our ramen this does not need any extra this is really delicious yeah this is pretty amazing i'm really impressed with maggie so far me too this last one is my 
I think going to be my favorite. We'll see. Um, and then we have two more to go after that, but our last Maggie is coming up right after this. I don't know if anything can beat that original Maggie, but if anything can, this is going to be it. I love mac and cheese, like love, love mac and cheese. All the Maggie has been so good so far, so I can't imagine this mac and cheese isn't gonna be bomb too. Let's find out. This one is cooked really similarly to the last one. We start with two cups of water. Then we add this amazing looking mac and cheese. Next, we add the tastemaker packet, and this one smells really good. The next step is to bring it to a rolling boil and then just let it simmer for five minutes. And the result is this perfect looking mac and cheese. I'm so excited about this. Look at this Maggie mac and cheese, Yum. all steamy and hot. One thing I didn't know when we were uh, starting this is that it's got corn in yeah, it. Yeah, it's kind of different. So it's a funky, exciting little thing there. Do you guys normally put corn in your mac and cheese in India? Let us know in the comments because yeah, I'm really curious. I am too. All right. Cheers. Ooh, hot. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's surprisingly creamy. Mm -hmm. With no milk. Yeah, right. Yeah. The one thing is it's not super cheesy. It is, uh, it's very creamy. It has almost like a, an Alfredo taste it if you're familiar with that. Yeah. But it's not super, super cheesy. The corn, though, is a nice really touch. nice little touch. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I love the crunchy texture from the corn. But it's definitely not what we're used to having in terms of mac and cheese. Because mac and cheese in the U.S. is so cheesy. Right. Sometimes too cheesy. Right. But I love how you said like an Alfredo. This is really good still. I really like this. And this is our last little Maggie dish here. The thing that I've loved about these is each one, all three of them, had a different kind of pasta. These last two had peas, carrots. They've all had a different mm. sauce. Like there's a lot of diversity in these instant noodles and that's pretty impressive and they're really good. Outside of the Maggie's, the one I'm looking forward to the most is this one, this hot garlic one. It looks so spicy, but also this guy looks really excited about <laughs> it. So let's try it out. So these were the easiest noodles to make with one and a quarter cups of water, one brick of the noodles, and then just like every other one, you put the tastemaker packet in and I could smell the spice. You cook it for three minutes, plate it up, and it is already time to eat. So it's time for our first non maggie instant noodle of the day and it looks great. I almost spilled that. <laughs> yeah. That was so that was close. Awful. I am so excited about this one because it says it's spicy and that's the one thing we've lacked today. So we're going to try this broth first. That's good. It is not spicy. It's not that spicy, but it's good. You can taste mm. the garlic in it. Mm -hmm. It almost tastes like a little bit of lime. And now I'm tasting the spicy on my throat. Are you tasting it yet? I really didn't get much spicy at all. Let's try these noodles. It smelled spicy when we were cooking it. I thought mm. it was going to be so spicy. Man. Now, the way that that coated the noodles, I definitely got some spicy now. That is mm, good. That is so bomb. I'm really liking this. Mmm. This is delicious. Mmm. Yeah, the way... I feel like all of the heat and the spice gravitated towards the noodles because those noodles are hot. Yeah, they're hot. They're very spicy. I, the noodles to me and this one aren't as good as the original Maggie noodles, but this broth, because it's spicy, mm -hmm. I think I think the broth here is the best broth of the day. Yeah, it is. Because it's it really, you do get the garlic and you definitely get that heat with the noodles, but not with the broth itself. Very odd. It is super strange. And I love too, you can see all mm. the other spices that are in here. Oh, my lips are kind of burning now. Yeah, the spice on this one is definitely amazing. I would I would use the packet for spicing up any noodle. <laughs> I'd love to know what's in it. Here's the idea. This is what I think we're gonna do. We are going to, not for this video, but just for ourselves, use the spice packets from this with the Maggie noodles. Just add to it. Yeah, because the Maggie noodles are better. They're plumper. They just tasted better to me. But this broth with that noodle, that would be like the ultimate instant noodle. That's so good. <clears throat> All right. This is really good. 
This is in the running for best of the day for sure. It is. Oh my gosh. Time for the last instant noodle. This one looks a whole lot like the first Maggie we had. This one is masala again. Looks really good. I hope that it has all these vegetables in it. We shall see. Number five and the last noodle of the video. Let's eat it. The last one's very similar to the first one with one and a quarter cups of water, one brick of noodles, the tastemaker packet, and then you boil it, stir it, and just like that, three minutes later, we are ready to eat. The last thing on our menu for tonight is this amazing masala noodles from Smith and Jones. So these have a really heavy masala smell. Yeah, they do. Way more than any other. And this seems like a very thick broth, too. Mmm. Mm. That's good. That's excellent. That's really good. That has a seasoning in it that we haven't had yet. It's not cinnamon, but it's like a... It's, a, it's different. I can't, I can't figure out what it is, but it adds a really unique element to it. It does. Whatever they've mixed in here with the masala, it gives you like a, a unique taste that we haven't had before, but also still kind of tastes like that home cooking, which is really good. And it's funny mm. to get that from a pack of instant noodles. Yum. You really get whatever that extra little seasoning is mm -hmm. with those noodles. Again, so creamy. Yeah, it really is almost buttery again is, yeah i mean it really it's like i put a ton of butter in it mm. it's not spicy at all to me is this one spicy to you at all? not at all but it has it had a little spice but i love how unique it is yeah it's got a depth of flavor to it that none of the others had right it really is good that's so good this is something that almost mm. would be like a cream of chicken soup with masala this would be really good with some chicken and some this vegetables. would be amazing with like some mushrooms this would be incredible <laughs> i think we mm. have a new a new almost favorite because we're mm. like this would be amazing with anything <laughs> is, is it cinnamon i don't know it's got a I little sweetness to it a tiny bit of spiciness Man, this makes it really hard because this is really good it's so good i kind of we almost didn't shoot this one because the Maggie noodles were so good mm -hmm. and this looked so similar, but man, is it different. So let's, let's finish this video out. Okay. What are your top three noodles here? Okay. So the top three for sure is that masala penne. Uh, okay. Am I saying it right? Yeah. Masala penne. And then the first Maggie. Okay. That was so good. And this is definitely number three. It's just, is it? yeah, it's creamy and delicious and unique and they all have so much flavor in them. Yeah, what so <laughs> I kind of have a tie for one and two, and that's the Maggie in this one. Really? I don't know if I could choose on any given day. Like, I would be super happy with either one of these. I think they have both had the best noodles. Definitely. Um, but then my third place is actually the spicy one. The the, garlic, uh, hot the hot garlic was my third place, <laughs> and that broth was the best. Yes. For me, I mean, if we're doing just three, the Maggie definitely hit it out of the park because two of my top favorites are in the Maggie, and then this one is just so good. Like, the way they the masala was mm. added to this, it's not a subtle masala. It's just, a, it's delicious. It's really, really good. Yep, so good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that we were gone for, like, three whole weeks, so yeah. thank you for your patience. <laughs> We really appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Yeah, and we will see you next week, and we have all kinds of good stuff coming. Thank you so much for watching, guys. You have no idea how much it means to us. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We would sure appreciate it.